In April 2024, astronomers detected something strange, a star shredded apart by an invisible force. But this didn't happen where it was supposed to. It wasn't at the center of a galaxy. It was drifting, off course, far from any gravitational core. This was the first confirmed case of a wandering black hole, not anchored to a galaxy, not surrounded by millions of stars, just moving, alone, in deep space, and no one knows where it came from or where it's going. All we know is that it's real and it's still out there. To understand how a black hole can wander through space, we first need to understand how one even forms. Most black holes are born when a massive star reaches the end of its life. It runs out of fuel. Its core collapses under its own gravity. And what's left behind is one of the strangest objects in the universe. A region of space where gravity is so intense, nothing, not even light, can escape. That's why we call it a black hole. Now here's where it gets interesting. Most black holes don't just drift aimlessly. They tend to live in predictable places, often tied to stars or orbiting within a galaxy. Some are small. Others, like the one at the center of our Milky Way, are supermassive. We're talking millions, sometimes billions, of times the mass of the sun. And when a star gets too close to one of those giants, it dies in a very specific way. The black hole's gravity pulls harder on one side of the star than the other. The result? The star stretches and then tears apart. Astronomers call this a tidal disruption event. It's brutal. It's violent. But it's also expected because these events usually happen at the heart of a galaxy. But in 2024, something happened that broke that rule. A tidal disruption event occurred far from any galactic center. No dense star clusters, no visible black hole, just a single dying star being pulled apart by something invisible. And that something wasn't supposed to be there. Astronomers first noticed the event using data from the Hubble Space Telescope. A star had suddenly brightened, then faded, fast. The pattern matched a tidal disruption event but something was off. There was no galactic core nearby, no dense center, just empty space. That alone raised eyebrows. Then came data from Issei's Gaia mission. It confirmed movement, subtle but measurable. The dying star was being pulled apart, not randomly, but in a way that suggested a moving source of gravity. Not a supermassive black hole sitting still, but something drifting a rogue. That's when the James Webb Space Telescope joined in. Its infrared sensors picked up heat signatures, dust, debris, and a shock wave, consistent with a star being torn apart. But again, no galactic nucleus, no fixed black hole. NASA scientists started piecing it together. One researcher said, if this is what it looks like, then we're looking at the first confirmed wandering black hole. A black hole with no home. Just mass. Motion. And destruction. The evidence lined up. The star's light curve. The motion data. The debris field. Everything pointed to something massive, moving. So, how does a black hole end up wandering through space? There are a few theories and none of them are ordinary. One possibility is a galactic merger. When two galaxies collide, their central black holes begin to spiral around each other. Eventually, they merge. But sometimes, the force of that collision kicks the resulting black hole away, hard. We're talking millions of kilometers per hour, fast enough to escape the entire galaxy. If that happened here, the result could be exactly what we're seeing. A lone black hole, drifting after being violently ejected from its home. Another theory? A failed capture. 
A smaller black hole might have been on the edge of a larger galaxy's gravitational pull, but never quite fell in. Instead, it kept orbiting until something knocked it loose. A near miss, a gravitational slingshot. Then there's the fringe stuff. Some scientists wonder if these rogue black holes are actually part of dark matter structures. Invisible networks laced through the universe. Others go further. They ask, what if it's not natural at all? What if something built it or aimed it? We don't have answers. But what we do know is that something tore a star apart in the middle of nowhere and it's still moving. And somewhere out there, another star is already in its path. This is just the beginning.